Hello, David Canepa here from the Mixed Reality team at Microsoft. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about autopilot and we will be going through the different steps on how to implement it. And we'll also be going over the different advantages and why you might be interested in using autopilot. So as some of you might know, uh, autopilot has uh, been around and has been heavily used for the deployment of Surface. Uh, but it's now available for HoloLens. Uh, well, has been available for some time now. Um, and this is specifically targeted at businesses mainly because if, if you're your own developer, you can have your own account and this really doesn't impact you. Uh, however, for a business or a corporation where you have different uh, security policies, different uh, requirements and the device restrictions that you like to apply, uh, this could be a very interesting scenario for you to roll out your devices. So pretty much what autopilot uh, allows you to do is to get the device ready and up and going for the users and that they don't have to do all the setup uh, themselves. So pretty much what uh, you would do or how it works is autopilot will join the device in Azure Active Directory uh and then it will from there it will automatically enroll it into intune intune sorry which would be your uh microsoft endpoint manager as it is called and it's the mdm platform uh and that's through which you would be using uh most of or uh, yeah managing your hololens and then once it's enrolled it into intune uh, it checks uh, what are the device uh, restrictions that we had set and that we configured, and then it downloads into the uh, the headset. And this is really important because you can configure policies such as uh, tenant lockdown, which means that by applying this configuration policy, it um, blocks the headset to only be used by the certain accounts or users that are in that specific tenant. And no matter how many times you reflash the device, reset it, wipe it, it would still be locked to that tenant. Uh, so this is, we get this question quite a lot is how can I guarantee that whenever I send the device that the user there will not use a local account or their own credentials. And this is how, one of the ways on how you could stop it by locking it down to a tenant. That uh, user will be forced if they want to be able to use the HoloLens to um, use the, the credentials from that tenant. So. Uh, and, and you can download other things like kiosk mode. Uh, you can uh, uh, download things like VPN, Wi-Fi restrictions, etc. There's a whole bunch of things that you can then uh, just put together in this package of autopilot. It'll download it. And then once it downloads all this, it gets the device ready and then it presents the user with the login uh, screen. And then all they have to do is use the credentials that you've given them and they'll be able to start using their device. So. I mean, it's obviously it takes a couple of minutes for that to work and for all that process to go. But if you do it properly, it's uh, very convenient. It could save quite a lot of time uh, and it could be a very useful tool. So if you follow the next uh, videos, you will see how to do it step by step. We're going to go into uh, Intune and we're going to show you how you enroll the device, uh, how you create those configuration policies, how you add them then to the groups, and then just how the whole process works. So hope it, uh, hope it helps and let us know if you have any questions.